Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel Taking Pro Drawing Masterclass. So today we are going to be handling the placement of uh, the grid lines and also I'm going to show you how you can put the dimensions. So first thing is uh, we are going to create a boundary around this new drawing that we have. Now let me show you how, how you can create that boundary. So I'm going to use a layer for def points then i'll click at the rectangle command then i'm going to draw a square of 2000 millimeters by 2000 millimeters i'll highlight it then i'll move it at this at this corner then still i'll highlight it then i'll click at the copy command now click at this corner right here then i'll snap this square at that point then i'll move it this side then i'll snap it also at that point and i'll move it downwards so where those two green lines meet that's where you position it so still i'll i'll use the rectangle command then i'll click at that corner of that square then I'll draw up um, I'll draw up this rectangle up to that point I'll highlight these squares then I'll delete them because now I no longer need them so next I'm going to highlight that line then I'll click at the offset command so from that line that I've highlighted I'll click at it, then I'll offset it at a distance of seven, 75 millimeters inwards. Then I'll click, or I'll press the enter key at the keyboard. So I'll highlight this uh, line that I've just offset it. Sorry, I'll highlight this um, rectangle, then I'll click at this arrow, then I'll select extend, then I'll click at this uh, line that I've offset it. Even here, I'll extend it up to this boundary rectangle. Okay. So the major purpose as to why I've created this boundary is to enable me that uh, all these uh, grid lines will be on the same level what i'm trying to avoid is to create lines that are that are that are not of the same um, height okay so next i'm going to highlight um, this uh, grid line that i've created then i'll put it under the layer for grid lines okay so I'll press escape, then still I'll highlight it, then I'm going to offset it, then I'll get another grid line for this wall, and also another grid line for this wall, and also another grid line for this wall. So um, let me show you how I did it. From our reference drawing right here, I can see that the distance between um, this grid line and this grid line is 30,150 millimeters so this is the same distance that i'm going to um, use to offset another line from this line so i'll click at the offset command then i'll click at this line then i'll offset it at a distance of 3150 millimeters So you find that it's exactly at the mid the mid point of this wall then this uh, grid line is at a distance of 1650 from this line so i'm going to do the same thing right here so i'll click at this line then i'll offset it at a distance of 1650 millimeters 
so it, it will be positioned right there so right here I have this grid line um, it's at a distance of um, 2650 2, from um, this grid line so I'll click at this line then I'll offset it at a distance of 2650 millimeters so when I'm done I'll press escape then still I'll highlight this rectangle oh sorry before highlighting it I'm going to first highlight this line this line then I'll offset it at a distance of 75 millimeters then I'll highlight this rectangle then I'll click at the extend command then I'll click at that line that I'll offset it even I'll do the same thing this side so I'll highlight this line and I'll put it under the layer for good lines okay so next I'm going to create a grid line for this wall this wall and this wall then also another one for the columns right here so let me show you exactly how you can go over it so I can see that uh, the distance from the distance between these two grid lines this one and this one it's 2650 okay uh, the reason as to why i'm using this side uh, it's like i didn't uh, include the dimensions between these between the grid lines this side that's why i've opted uh, i've opted to use uh, this side okay so i'll highlight this grid line then i'll click at the offset command then i'll click at this line then i'll offset it at a distance of 2650 millimeters then still the distance between uh, this grid line and this grid line is 1500 millimeters so I'll click at this line then I'll offset it at a distance of 1500 millimeters and I press enter then next I can see that uh, the distance between um, this grid line and this grid line is 3650 so I'll click at this line then I'll offset it at a distance of 3650 millimeters then lastly um, the distance between this grid line and this grid line is um, 1650 so I'll click at this line right here then I'll offset it at a distance of 1650 so you find that uh, we have the exact arrangement of our grid lines the way they are in our reference drawing so next I'm going to label these grid lines so I'll highlight uh, these tags plus the text inside then I'll click on the copy command then at this point where the grid line intersects with a circle I'll click there then I'll transfer these tags right here Okay. So next, I'll highlight also these lines. I mean these tags. And I'll click at the copy command. Then I'll just paste them right here.
okay this looks so perfect so um, we are done with the uh, uh, placing in the grid lines so what we are left with is uh, to put uh, the dimensions okay so um, I'm not going to make my dimensions so um, so many like this I'm going to include a few dimensions for the case of the video then um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for the PDF of this uh, drawing so don't mind uh, everything will be sorted out so I'll click at the layer command then I'll choose the layer for dimensions then uh, I'll click at the dimension command the next from this point right here I'll stretch my dimension up to this point then I'll raise it up here like this so to show that we are accurate uh, you find that this uh, distance is the same we have right here so if you happen to get a different um, dimension that means they are somewhere you 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 went wrong okay so I'll click at this line right there the notocard will automatically give me the dimension or the length of uh, this line so I'll pull it up right there then I'll click at this line right here all I, I will highlight it then I'll hover my cursor at this blue dot then I'll select uh, continue dimension then I'll push it up to this point then I'll press escape the next I'll also do the dimensions of the walls external walls then I'll finish it right there so I'll also do uh, the dimension to show the distance between these grid lines
So um, you find that uh, I'm done with uh, putting the dimensions. What I'm left with is uh, to name this uh, drone. So I'd named this one right here. So I'll copy this text. And I'll paste it right there. Then after you finishing up each and everything that is required of you, I'll just highlight this rectangle, then I'll delete it. Because I no longer need it. We have come to the end of this video. So um, if you have really found something of helpful and it has added value to you, um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Then you can also share this kind of content to friends and relatives that you feel like they're in need of this kind of content. Yeah, thanks for watching. Then we meet next time.